Alfred North Whitehead was an English mathematician and was considered as the pioneer of process philosophy. He was born in England on the 15th of February 1861 in Kent, United Kingdom, and sadly died in 1947 at the age of 86 in Massachusetts, USA. Schooled at home until the age of 14, his father, schoolmaster Alfred North Whitehead, educated him, allowing him to graduate a mathematics degree at Trinity College. It was here he started as a lecturer in mathematics, then moving to the University of London where he was a professor in applied mathematics and mechanics. Ultimately, he moved to Harvard in 1924, where he was professor of philosophy and remained there for the rest of his life. Whitehead's mathematical work can be separated into three general areas. The first area of algebra and geometry contains his writing in pure mathematics, written in his first book, A Treatise of Universal Algebra, published in, in 1898. The second area consists of work in both logic and foundations. It includes work on axiomatics, cardinal numbers, and algebra of symbolic logic. These studies were documented in a three-volume text, Principia Mathematica, written alongside Burton Russell. It popularised modern mathematical logic and stated the connections between logicism and metaphysics. This led Whitehead to his third area of physics and philosophy. Mathematical logic, logical properties of cardinal numbers, series, functions, quantity and vector families were all topics explored within his text that represented a major leap forward in modern logic. To provide an example, Whitehead and Russell were the first to define a series as a set of terms having the properties of being asymmetrical, transitive and connected. The significance of Whitehead's contribution was heavily limited, as the volume of written work, such as papers, that he completed throughout his career was relatively small. According to the Encyclopedia of Philosophy, he was one of the most quoted, but least read people in his field at the time. However, the way in which he was able to make an impact upon his field was in his job as an academic at different colleges throughout his career. One example of this came about in his work completed with Bertrand Russell, a man who began as one of Whitehead's pupils at Trinity College. Russell's 1903 book, The Principles of Mathematics, was essentially an expansion on a number of themes that had been developed by Whitehead, and according to the Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy, represented a decisive break from the neo-Kantian approach to mathematics Russell had developed six years earlier in his essays on the foundations of geometry. As the two began to develop the second volumes of their respective work, Russell's The Principles of Mathematics and Whitehead's A Treatise on Universal Algebra, the two men began to realise the amount of overlap in their research and topics that they were discussing, and this prompted them to instead collaboratively write a new book, which ended up being the crowning achievement of both men. Perhaps the largest influence on modern mathematics as a result of Alfred North Whitehead's work is his co-published book titled Principia Mathematica. Principia Mathematica contains an incredibly intricate and foundational approach to being able to describe formally the truths of mathematics as a concept. This is done by describing the means for mathematical proof to be written with absolute meanings and connotations, as well as outlining a set of axioms of which were to be implemented to strengthen and reinforce the concept of mathematics. Tying into his influence on modern mathematics, this new and improved method of proofing, when partnered with these established axioms, has essentially paved the way for any future mathematician to develop a proof of their known mathematical truth in a way that is concrete and mathematically proper. This greatly influences mathematics as a whole as it provides mathematicians with the new means to concisely communicate ideas in a way that has never been done so well before. With all this said, it is safe to conclude that Alfred North Whitehead is undoubtedly one of the most influential mathematicians to have ever existed and his contribution has greatly influenced the entirety of modern mathematics for the better.